Guys, my name is Caleb Jackson, and I'm uh, here today to try to make you realize that human trafficking is something that is happening around us. Uh, we all tend to think that human trafficking is an issue for like the big cities and uh, along borders and such, but that's really not the case, and our interstate system really makes it that much easier for human traffickers. If you look along the interstate uh, at rest stops, truck stops, just random places, search for those places on the Craigslist with the words prostitute or uh, escort or things like that. People are thinly veiling human trafficking as a date or other things um, so that they're not easily found by the authorities. But if you're looking for the right thing, you know exactly where to look and what to find. Uh, Mike Tobias with Net News interviewed Jamie Minzer from the uh, Spouse Abuse and Sexual Assault Crisis Center in Hastings, Nebraska. This is a very small county in Nebraska, and they have a very large shelter that is almost completely dedicated to sexual trafficking and human trafficking victims. They have a process for intaking victims, giving them showers, giving them clothing, uh, food, water, and uh, kind of giving them a safe place to stay uh, when they've been rescued from their trafficking situation. Um, a place like this exists in a county of less than like 50,000 people for a purpose. This doesn't exist in, uh, in, in larger cities in Nebraska. This is in Hastings. To get this a little bit closer to home for all of us, earlier this month um, in Lafayette, nine people were arrested for human trafficking under the cover of massage parlors. They were Chinese immigrants. They had massage uh, therapists who were actually forced into uh, prostitution by their traffickers. They were brought to the United States against their will and forced to do prostitution by massage here. Uh, those people were actually uh, found after a 17 month investigation led by Sheriff Garber of the Lafayette Parish mm -hmm. Sheriff's Office. Um, I think we should all realize that this is not a small, a big town problem, and this is actually a, a small town problem as well, because of our interstates and how easy it is for us to hide, because there are so many cars and so many, so many, so much volume moving through the interstate system that there's no way we can really find the small operations or 